guys, welcome to another video. Today we're back with our submarine. I ran out of breath there. So, uh, last episode we made this decent front, this strange side, and this absolutely hideous back. We will not be fixing any of this today, because I don't know how. I kid you not, I tried my hardest, but I don't know how. We will actually be adding a top deck. If the title did not give it away, this is a submarine ship. It is kind of like a Hydra sort of combination thing. I don't know what to call it, but it's cool and I like it. So, yeah. But basically, it's a submarine. So it's a submersible boat, pretty much. So today we will be building a top deck and a conning tower. If you don't know what the conning tower is, it's one of those big tower things that you see on subs with like the, sometimes that you can steer the thing from there and you've got like, they're on the top decks normally and so yeah, they're pretty cool and we're going to build one today, but we're going to make it so that it sort of has, so that it has almost a, I suppose you could say, um, a deck attached to it now this will be a camera deck so there won't be no windows on there so you could pilot the sub from there or you could pilot it from down below now it's going to be very interesting because i suck at making contractions with two ignitions so we are going to probably we might not actually have any controls um, in the deck area, we might just have controls for a gun or something. It might be a gunning station. Uh, I'm not sure yet, though. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Um, now, time to figure out what I actually need. Okay, so obviously, for a coining tower, we're going to want some angles. Um... think about that what it will do. Uh, we want it to be decently tall. So I think about that much. I think that's good. Um, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we're going to have a, a quite skinny conning tower. It's going to be relatively skinny, but it's going to have everything you need in a conning tower, including drains and a dive trunk. If you don't know what a dive trunk is, it's this little thing at the um, at the bottom of a conning tower um, that's actually inside the conning tower that you can come out of the sub from. Yeah, so but now it kind of looks like a, kind of just looks like a smokestack. Um, so yeah, we might not actually put the, the gunning sort of thing here. Actually no, we do have enough room, so we'll probably put it there. Um, yeah, I think we'll put it there. But anyways, I think we should add in a floor like here. Um, and we should also probably add in a ladder. Or two ladders to be specific. Um, we'll have them on nearer to the aft. If you don't know what the aft of a ship is, it's it basic it's basically fanciness for rear. Um, and we're also gonna use some sliding hatches. The reason I'm using sliding hatches and not normal hatches is because I can and also I think they look better so without further ado we will get a sliding hatch they are six long we need to turn this round we can have it there and you know what that looks pretty good uh, I'm quite pleased with this actually um, yeah, so we will have some basic stuff like a compass. Um, so we'll 
just smack down a compass, make sure it's facing north. I know it doesn't need to be facing north, so technically, yeah, it doesn't technically need to be facing north because it will be facing the direction anyways, but I just wanted to also get a welder. An underwater welder because this is a submarine, as well as a fire extinguisher. So it's some of the basic tools, uh, really. Yeah, they're just some basic tools. So on this side we'll have the normal welder. On this side we'll have the underwater welder. I do have directional arrows. Okay, good. Here we'll smack down our fire extinguisher. It's really annoying me with the things to run around. So we'll just. Oh, no, that doesn't work, does it? Gotta do it manually. Okay, that's better. So. Let's see, we've got welder, we've got, oh, what we do not have is a dial so that we can actually see the, can get a clock, we'll just put it there then. Uh, perfect. Artificial horizon. Okay, we will put our artificial horizon down that way. Actually, no, we'll go another facing. Down our face and our clock like this. Okay, its display name will be clock. This will just be nothing. That won't have a display name either. And yeah, it seems pretty good. All right, that's our conning tower. Obviously, we'll add in the hatch later. Um. Actually, no, we'll add in the ha we'll do the conning tower first, I think. If we do the conning tower first, then it will just make everything so much easier. So, we will need a hatch. A hinged one, to be specific. We will also need some ladders. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get rid of all of this, and I'm going to get rid of that as well. We're also going to add I'm also going to add a way to unlock both hatches, so we're going to need a button, it will be a toggle button, we'll actually place two here, the reason we'll place two is because we'll have one for the bottom hatch, one for the top hatch, except we will actually have a lockable button the reason we'll have a lockable button as well is because we're going to have a fluid meter when the fluid when the fluid meter is less um, when the fluid meter since detects less 
then 0.1% water, the bottom will open and you'll be able to unlock this hatch, which will lead into the other. Okay. We'll also make it so that its default state is on. and we'll get to the logic in a sec um, when that's toggled that will unlock this no that will lock both this and these So we need we're gonna need a less than and we'll put this all the way at the back with a constant number which will be tagging this Says if A is less than B, so that'll be so if A is less than B, it unlocks. Okay, I need to. If A is less than B, so that goes to B. This goes to that, and that gets dry. How about getting a fluid that needs to start in here? So we need the fluid level instead of the fluid capacity. Returns the number of liters in an enclosed volume. Oh wait, no. Yes, yeah, the fluid level. The level of fluid in our lovely dive trunk. Okay, time to test it out. Don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. Uh, so we can go over to here, and obviously we can open this. But and we. And this is unlocked because there is nothing in there, so. And then, we can do that. Right, perfect. Um, yeah, that was actually pretty easy. So let's make th uh, this look nice, I think. We should make, yeah, let's make this look nice. Uh, we'll use 
So this to place all the colours that aren't yet filled. However, in here it will actually use the default grey to fill in to know that undo that last part. Um we'll use this so that we can also matter. It's a tiny amount so we can just paint it in ourselves. I should really stop saying boom. Not at all for the lawyering reasons or legal reasons or anything. It's just because this is a submarine. You don't want a submarine to blow up. Um, but yeah, I think probably the, s the submarine's deadliest enemy. The submarine's worst enemy has to be the incendiary round. I mean, Fire on ships can be very dangerous, but fire on something that is submerged, that can't surface very easily, that's just, that's pretty deadly. That, that can be very deadly, actually. So it's a good thing that we, we will not have to worry about it, because this will have firefighting gear literally everywhere. Um... But, yeah, I think we can fit in our beautiful fire control, I suppose. Not you guys know what I mean when I say fire control. I, I mean the room that deals with all of the guns and stuff. The room that deals with the fun stuff. But we'll actually, we might just leave that space. We will uh, we'll delete all of this, I think. And so this will be our this can be our fire control. Once again, you guys you guys know what I mean when I say fire control. I mean the place that controls the boom boom stuff. Okay, that boom boom was intentional because we don't we don't want to go boom boom while we're on the ship. But we want um anyone but we want all of our enemies to go boom boom when they're on the ship. Okay. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. Um and because this is fire control, we're gonna, we're not gonna, it will literally just be cameras and monitors in here. We're not gonna have anything else. We're not gonna have any of that fancy, sm schmancy stuff with, um, windows. Perfect. Uh, this can be our fire control. We can get a. We can get some hatches. So we will actually have a a button that locks all hatches. Um, or at least all exterior hatches. Um, and that will be when you press the fill ballast, or when you dive. 
Um, because once you, when you dive, uh, then you just kind of, yeah, you, you don't want, you, when you're underwater, the last thing you want, yeah, I really don't like how this looks, so I'm just gonna, remove a couple of blocks. So, I mean, obviously, you know, you don't want people just opening exterior hatches. That's the worst thing that could happen. Okay, so, this, obviously, this won't be, like, the main area where everything is controlled. This will just be where the exterior gun that will probably go about here and we'll make that in the next episode. That will be tomorrow, uh, not today, because two videos in one day, I think, is enough for me. But yeah, so I'm thinking we'll just stick a gun here, inside here, we'll, we can control that, and maybe an auto cannon up here. Would that work? Yeah, I think that works. That, that should work. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if, if it will work. But I, however, I do know that I want this to be a nuke, nuclear sub by that. I mean, I have this really good weapons pack downloaded, um, and it's got a ton of missiles and stuff, so I'm thinking, you know, I get some missiles, I put them in here, and we have a missile system. I hope. I really hope. Okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to leave it here now because we're running out of storage space so yeah bye guys bye